Happy Sunday morning to everybody. I'm uh, up trying to get myself ready for church. I just wanted to come on and have a drink of coffee and share the verse of the day, devotional word of the day for with you guys. That's all. Um, it's not going to be a long video at all, hopefully, unless the word get good and the Holy Spirit speak to me. But I'm literally trying to get ready for church. But I wanted to come on and eat with y'all and... Trying to remember what I need to do. Take my medicine for this rash. It's, it's, it's going away, guys, but it's still real itchy. So I'm going to be putting this on. Um, something else I need it. But, um, mm, I'm, just, I'm trying to think so I won't forget that. Hold on. I want to get this grease for one thing. So I can oil oh, my face. So like I say, it's very, very early in the morning. And I'm just literally trying to get ready for church. Do simple little things before it's before I actually put on my clothes. So I just finished washing up and made my coffee. It's sitting right here on the table with me now. I'm trying to grease my face. Uh, I like to put grease on my face before uh, I put this hydrocortisone stuff on here too, because it, you know my my skin dries out real quick, and I don't want it to dry out. But how was you guys' weekend? I hope y'all weekend was good. Mine's was. I can't complain. Uh, I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to be wearing to church today. And I'm probably going to just be putting on some uh, some little sanders because it's warm out today. And I can think I can get away with it. So, this is what I'm going to be wearing today. This shirt. With this blue skirt, this blue, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's the same blue that's in the shirt. So I'm just going to wear that. Keeping it very simple today. And I'm going to put on some sandals. That's all I'm wearing. And you, of course, you know my little jacket or sweater. But yeah, so I just, when I got through getting my shower this morning, I put on this moo moo that I have on. Just until I get through. Now, I'm going to take this pill right quick. I really don't know what caused me to break out. I really do not know what caused me to break out because I was itching so bad yesterday. I had to take this pill they gave me at the hospital plus a Benadryl. I was just itching. My granddaughter said, Grandma, you know you shouldn't be stretching. I couldn't help it. But I was trying not to stretch. I was rubbing, but baby, you tell me. But my face has cleared up a lot. If you guys can still see, over here it's still bumped up. But they, you know, they kind of getting fine now where they kind of just you look like my skin. They, You know, they you can feel them, but they're smooth. So, yeah. So I'm just trying to take it easy. That. And then I'm going to do my hair, which I ain't going to do much to it, but try to lay my edges down a little bit. And uh, like I said, I have my coffee right here, guys. Mm. Hot. So we put this on twice a day. So I just literally put it on my where my bumps is because they just around here. And then I put it on my arms. I don't try to use a whole lot of this stuff. Y'all know this stuff is expensive. 
even though I got, they gave it to me at the hospital. On my insurance, I still had to pay a copay. The copay was, shoot, I almost high as this stuff was. But it's all right. God bless me to be able to do it. So I ain't complaining. And I want to give a shout out to all of my new subscribers. Y'all, I'm meeting some wonderful people here on this platform that's God-filled people. So I'm telling you. Yes, that's telling me, don't say nothing. Stop, don't talk about myself like that. God created me. Like, you know, and I appreciate that, which I really don't hardly ever talk about myself. But, you know, I say little negative things, like, especially about my face. That's because I'm very self-conscious about my face because of my stroke. But I know I'm blessed, and I know I know I'm beautiful, so I don't care what nobody else feels about me. Miss Glugla, no, she is beautiful. One thing I know is I'm a big, beautiful woman. And I've been knowing that all my life. I ain't never need nobody to tell me that. So I really appreciate you, Melanie. That's her name, Melanie, um, for reminding me of that. And I'm going to make sure I stick to that, even when when my face is going through the motions of the after effect, whatever you call a stroke. Hopefully that's well being good. I'll check it again later before I go. Before I get ready to walk out the door of the church. Let me clean my hands right quick. Get some of this cream off of it. Even though I ain't finna eat nothing. How y'all weekend? How was y'all weekend? Come on, talk to me. Tell Miss Gugler how y'all weekend was. My weekend was great. I really didn't do nothing but chilled out. I walked. I did a lot of walking. <clears throat> I probably can't show y'all how my walk was. Did I get my other phone? I probably can't show y'all tell show y'all my steps because I don't think they on this phone. Cause I don't got it cinch. Uh I'm just gonna try to see, can I? Uh, let me give a shout out to LaShawn Campbell while I'm right here now doing these shout outs. Let me just look and see. I want to give a shout out to LaShawn Campbell. Thank you, love, for watching my videos, for visiting my fat platform. I truly appreciate it. And I love your content as you know I do. You know, most of the time I come in on, sometimes I don't come in on uh, videos because it just, it be too much, take too much time and I have a lot of uh, content creators videos that I watch. <clears throat> give me give a shout out to E is God's son. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I hope you have a very blessed day, baby. I'm going to give a shout out to Miss B and family. Thank you for watching my videos and thank you for those uh, amazing lives that you have stepping in God. I love it. I want to give a shout out to uh, Retirement days. Happy Sunday. God bless. Thanks for watching my videos, love. I appreciate it. I really appreciate that, y'all. Y'all just don't know. I want to give a shout out also to my girl, my big sister, Miss Big B Message. Y'all go check out her channel if y'all haven't. Um, who else? There's so many. I want to give a shout out to Camila. I don't think Camila got a channel here, but she's on here. Oh, God. She be on E is God's son's uh, platform all the time. And I want to give a shout out to Miss JoJo. So I just thought I'd do uh, give those shout out um, while I thought about it, while I have a chance. I'm going to pull up the uh, devotion of the day. Y'all know I love it. I can't go without it. I cannot get on here and don't do the devotion of the day. You know, it's truly amazing. Let me put on my earrings so I already have them on before I go to church. Mm. I'm going to try to put on my some gold, uh, a gold necklace. That's why I'm putting on the, gold, the little gold hoop earrings this morning. So, and I did order me some headbands from Tamu. So that way, I'm trying to keep this hair in as long as I can because y'all know my hair grows real fast and I'm actually growing my hair. So 
if I keep the headband on, I won't want to take it out because I won't see the edges so much. As we all know my hair grows so fast and it get nappy so fast. So, but I got some really coarse hair. I love it. I don't want it no other way. I just don't want to relax it. That's why I'm deciding to go natural, but it's hard not to want to relax it because when you got real coarse hair, you be wanting to relax it because that stuff be kinky, kinky. So, but um, so far, I've been holding out with the relaxing. I'm just loving these braids that my granddaughter do. I hope she stay around so she can keep my hair done. As long as I can keep it braided up, it's going to grow. Just like I want it to. I'm telling you, the Lord put her here in my life for a reason, guys. He did. When I say he put my granddaughter here in my life for a reason, he did. Because I had my other granddaughter here with me. But, you know, it's a difference when, you know, you got one granddaughter that's here and pretty much settled, stable. You know, they young and they got to live their life. I miss that great grandson of mine, the little one, guys. Y'all know he be been on my channel many a time. I'm trying to rub some of this hair. I'm going to have to do my hands again. Yep, I ordered some headbands, so if I get them headbands, I can, uh, when I get those headbands, let me get this on my, let's try to put this on my edges. I ain't trying to do nothing pretty to them. I just want them not to be sticking up. But those headbands are wide, thick and wide. And I can put them on, you know, different ones to match my clothes. So I got them ordered. Hopefully they'll get here soon. Hopefully they will get here soon. I'm so glad my sister package came from to move. We thought somebody had taken it, but they hadn't. It just uh, her best friend that lives in this building. My sister, guys, is uh, almost 70. She's not 70 yet. She is 67, I think. Don't hold me to it. She was born in 57, so. Y'all know I ain't, I ain't that good at remembering stuff, but pretty much I remember all of my sisters and brothers' uh, birthday. So she is, I think she's 67. I think she'll be 68 on her birthday this May. This May, yeah, May 18th. So, and um, her best friend staying here. The best friend, the wife and the husband. And both of them are her best friends. She used to go out of town. They used to take summer trips together to, to visit each other's different hometown and families and stuff. And now that, you know, my sister's on dialysis and stuff, it's a lot that she can't really do anymore. She can't really go because she got to be here for dialysis or wherever she's trying to take a trip, she got to get it set up. And, you know, that's a process wherever she's going but hopefully one day she can get to take trips again you know she's up in her age now she's been through a lot she's a two-time cancer survivor and uh she's blessed so let's get into this video because i took y'all on a little journey with me this morning and it's all right i feel good about it sharing this that this much of my morning routine with you guys i normally don't do it on sundays but hey God knows best. So today, the verse of the day, my love, is coming from St. John chapter 14, verse 12. And it read as thus, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he also do. If you believe in Jesus and you believe in the works that he do, that same work that Jesus do, you shall be able to do it too. Thus, this is what thus says the Lord. This is from St. John 14, verse 12. And it also says, and greater works than these shall 
he do because I go unto my father. So verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also and greater works than these. You're not only going to be able to do the works that Jesus do, but you're going to be able to do greater works that he did. Okay. Thank you, God. And where he go to his father, as long as you do the works that he do and stay faithful, be steadfast, stand on the word, be unmovable in the Lord, in the Holy Spirit, where Jesus went, where he went back to his father, you're going to go there also. The inspiration said the disciples had the joy of witnessing Jesus' miracles. They saw healings and exorcisms. They saw sinners redeemed and live transformed life. And Jesus boldly promised the power to do all of these things to all who come to him. We should be able to do all these things, okay? Through the Spirit working in us, we have the power to carry on the great work that Jesus had started so that through us, healing and transformation may continue on and his kingdom may grow. That is the verse of the day in Jesus' name. Now, let's get to my devotion. Y'all know I love the devotion. Mm. The devotional word for you to carry today to ponder in your heart is... The title is, We Are Called to the Lost. Hallelujah, Jesus. We are called to the lost, okay? We are here to be witnesses to the lost sinners. It says, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Just like Jesus came to save us, he was seeking out of us. One thing I know is, is uh, he came and he sought after us and he got us. He saved us. And the same thing that he came to do, he wants us to do also. We are disciples of his. We have been predestinated by God. Simply me, we have been picked out by God. Okay, the word is coming from Luke Chapter 2, verses 10. Let's go to that word right quick. Luke 2, verses... Okay, let me pull it up first. So easy to get. Okay, I think that's Luke 2, uh, 10. Let me go back and see. Luke... No, it's Luke 19, 2 and 10. My bad. Let me go back. Luke... 19 verses 2 through 10. Okay, and they read as this, the word of God for today read as thus. And behold, there was a man named Zach Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publican, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was and could not for the press because he was of little structure. He was a little man, Zacharias. He was a little man. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. He ran and got up in a tree so he could see Jesus because he was a little man and he couldn't see him because of all the people's. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto Zacharias, Make haste and come down, for today I must abide at your house. Jesus told him to make haste, come down quick, quickly come down, because I am going to stay at your house. Okay? And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured. They began murmuring the peoples, saying that he was gone to be a guest with a man that is a sinner. Ain't that something? That's even if people see you, you could be hanging out with somebody, witnessing to somebody. You know, just trying to be a good disciple, a good steward of God. And peoples will judge you for that. But the Bible tells us to judge ye not, lest ye be judged. Remember that. Okay, and Zechariah stood 
and saying unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house. For so as much as he also is, is a son of Abraham. For the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Hallelujah. So Zechariah said, told Jesus that he give half of his goods to the poor. And if he ever had taken anything from somebody by taking anything from any man, anybody, by false accusation, he said that he restored back unto them fourfold of what he accused them of. And then he said, and then Jesus told him that this day salvation is yours. For his house, him and his household, for as much as he also, because he is the son of Abraham too. Okay, he said, for the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. And as the people that was the outside and stuff and heard these things, he added and spake the parable because he was nigh to Jerusalem. And because they, saw, they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. And he said, therefore... A certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said, Occupy them till I come. I'm going to stop right there because I want to tend to go that far. But when I get to reading this word, it was so good. So actually I read uh, Luke chapter 19 verses 2 through 10. And the tenth verse read as for the son of man is come to seek and to say that which is lost, okay? Let's go back to the devotion of the day. Devotion of the day, the name of the devotion, the title is We Are Caused, We Are Called to the Lost. We are to go out in the highways, the hedges, the byways, the skyways, everywhere, the internet ways, and compel sinners unto Christ, guys. That's what this life is all about. It ain't about us. It's about Jesus Christ now. We are to be working for our salvation. Heaven is my goal. And I'm striving to, to, to reach heaven one day. To sit at the table with my Savior. Y'all heard that song before? Um, let me sing a little bit of this song. And I'm not a singer. Oops, I pulled my earring out. See, this is why I can't wear big earrings when I have on these, this hair. Because this hair be, it bothers me when it be all in my skin. But listen, let me sing a little bit of this song. I ain't forgot what I was saying. Let me sing a little bit of this song. Oh, I'm gonna meet my loving Savior. Oh, I'm gonna meet my loving Savior one of these days. I'm going to meet my loving Savior, meet my loving Savior one of these days, oh yeah. Oh, I'm going to put on my long white robe, oh, I'm going to put on my long white robe one of these days, I'm going to put on my long white Roll, me, my love and savior. Let me just give y'all some of the parts, verses to it. Me, my love and savior. Put on my long white robe. Sit at the welcome table. Eat some milk and honey. Uh, uh, uh. Have y'all heard that before? Oh my God, my mom used to sing that all the time. I love that song. So, I just wanted to hit a couple of notes of that. I know y'all enjoyed that beautiful voice. <laughs> so, anyway, let's read the inspiration and I'm out of here because I got to get ready for church. 
Zacharias was a wealthy tax collector. Tax collectors in the time of Jesus was not popular people. I am pretty sure tax collectors of this present day we live in are also held in a high regard. They are, and people do not like the IRS, so I'm just going to say that it's true. Now, Zacharias was probably held in a high societal status as a result of his wealth, but none of that meant anything to him when he wanted to meet Jesus. It don't matter how much you got. When it's about, when you getting ready to meet Jesus, he ain't, he ain't wanting to meet you for your wealth, for all the, the possessions and stuff you got. No, uh-uh. He is not into materialistic things. Now, he wasn't a very tall, he wasn't a very tall man, but he did not allow his, did not allow his to stop him. He did, not, he did not allow his shortness to stop him, okay? He put his dignity aside and ran ahead and climbed a tree in order to see Jesus. It was very clear that Zach, Zacharias, Zacharias, that's not Zacharias, that's Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, was determined to meet Jesus and possibly converse with him. Jesus took it several steps further and informed Zacchaeus, Y'all, anybody know that, that name? If I'm saying it wrong, put it in the comments below and let me know. Hey, I take criticism very good. Now, I, it spells Z-A-C-C-H-A-E-U-S, Zacchaeus. I think that's Zacchaeus, okay? Jesus took himself several steps further to and informed Zacchaeus that he was going to stay with him. This was a shock to everyone around Jesus and probably Zacchaeus too. The tax, tax collectors were known for using sneaky, underhanded means to retrieve their money from other people. When people heard that Jesus was going to stay with Zacchaeus, they started to grumble, accusing Jesus of associating with the sinner. Because of the, because of the reputation of tax collectors, that's why they was grumbling and thought it was wrong for Jesus to stay with Zacchaeus because they said that tax collectors normally do people's wrong, take from them what they shouldn't take from them, you know. So that's why Zacchaeus, when he talked to Jesus, he told him that he give pay a ten a tenth of everything that he owned and that he gives back to the people's four times what he took from them by wrongfully accusing them of, I guess, not paying their tithes or whatever it is, their uh, taxes or whatever it is they do, okay? So we say, what a funny thing for them to say, considering the fact that they were sinners too. They probably didn't see it that way because they felt that they weren't as bad as Zacchaeus. Self righteous can self righteousness can blind you of your own flaws while you amplify the flaws of other people's. It sure can. Jesus wasn't moved. He wasn't there to follow the status quo. He was there to reach out to the people from the different walks of life. Look at the transformation that occurred within Zacchaeus. He was determined to give away his half of his possession to the poor, and he was willing to pay back four times the amount to anyone he had cheated. A repentant heart was a sight. What, what a sight. All of this was triggered by the loving gesture Jesus made by reaching out to Zacchaeus. Jesus ended it off with a perfect statement, putting all grumblers to silence. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. He ended it just like that. And it put it made the peoples be quiet. Because they knew all of them were sinners anyway. Okay? So let's say this prayer and this is the end of the video. Father God, we should never get to help us to never get to a point of thinking that we are better than the lost. Help us to remember that there was a time when you when a time when we were lost and you responded to the love that God was, that Jesus was stretching out to you in our stead, Lord. Help us, Lord, to walk in your directions. Help us to be Christians, Lord, because God, we are called to reach out to the lost, no matter how crazy or how sinful they may appear to be, or we may appear to be. Help us, Lord. 
Help us, Lord, to, 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 to love the works of Jesus so that we may be able to spread that love to all of your peoples. Help us to look at peoples, Lord, with no regards of what they have and what they've done. Just put within us, Lord, the heart of Jesus. Create within us a, a clean heart and renew your spirit within us, God. Help us, God. Please help us. Help us to be more like Zacharias, Lord, to give back if we know we have taken something from people's wrong. Father God, we ask that you open our eyes right now. We ask right now that you open our spiritual ears. We ask that you fill us with wisdom. Lord, we ask right now that you put within us a spirit of discernment and help us, God, as we walk this day. Help us to walk this day in your word and let your light be so ever so present around us, God. Help us to be good to all of your peoples. Help us to love like you want us to love. In Jesus' name, Lord, help us. Help us to seek the ones that are lost so that we may be soul winners for you. In Jesus Christ's holy name, I pray, God. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys got something out of that video. I really do. I hope somebody was inspired. I hope somebody was inspired. Uh, let me close this out right quick. I hope somebody was inspired and remember that, that remember that the devotion that came from Luke chapter 19. So I will read the whole entire chapter of Luke 19. May the word, may you be blessed today in Jesus name, because the word of God is already blessed. Peace. I love you. Amen. And enjoy church today, guys. God bless. I love you. I'll see you guys on the next video of God. Say the same. Peace.